Stop killing time, because time's killing you. Hey there, how you guys doing today? Thanks for joining me for another episode of Bitcoin and Coffee. I'll be your host, Eugene Forrest. So let me see, what do we got going on here with the cryptocurrency markets? Well, we got a market cap of $169 billion. We got 5.7 billion traded in the last 24 hours and the BTC dominance is dropping. We're down to 55.9%, but not really all that bad considering that we're on the other side of the snapshot that was taken of the Bitcoin network to go ahead and be used to, uh, you know, make the Bitcoin gold that we're all looking for our, you know, airdrop from, um, Looks like uh, the Bitcoin price is down 3.7%. It looks like all the altcoins are shooting up. Uh, you know, this is a situation of everybody, you know, and now that we're on the other side of the, the snapshot, they went and sold off their Bitcoin and uh, are moving themselves back in their positions and their altcoins, you know, looking to make those big gains. So let me see, what do we got here? We got a Bitcoin price of $5,687. Uh, you know, I'm sure this will be turning around before you know it. it look, let everybody get situated back in their altcoins and then we'll go ahead, we'll keep pumping the price of Bitcoin up. I mean, you know, Look at what's going on in Zimbabwe and how the price is up to like $10,000 for a Bitcoin over there because of their financial problems. Uh, you know, it just goes to show that Bitcoin is going to be going forward and into the, you know, to the moon with a higher price for sure. Uh, let me see. We got Ethereum. They're up 7.5%. They're on the other side of the $300 mark. Uh, you know, they have been struggling a little bit lately. So let's see if they can continue the momentum, keep moving forward closer to that $400 high they had, uh, you know, coming in at 308 right now. We got Ripple at 20.7 cents. They're up 5.5%. Uh, you know, this is a little better than what everything had been. So, I mean, as I look down, it looks like the, all the altcoins are coming up, uh, you know, anywhere between two, five, seven, nine percent, uh, you know, and I'm sure it's going to continue this way across the day. So, I mean, you know, today's the day to make some money in those alts, right? Uh, we got the Bitcoin cash price even coming up. We're at $331. It's up 2.5%. Uh, we got Litecoin coming in at $58. That's up 5.8% as well. Uh, we got Dash at $294. That's up 10%. Um, let me see. We got Nem at 21.2 cents that's up five percent and we got monero rolling up at 89.68 that's up 5.25 percent we got ethereum classic at ten dollars and 85 cents that's up 4.6 percent uh, let me see. Wow, these coins really fell down quite a bit, didn't they? Uh, we got Zcash coming in at 219. They're up 6.5%. We got Steam at a buck oh one. That's up 9.3%. And we got the Steam back dollar rolling in at 97 cents. That's up 3%. And I mean, we're still going to continue to grow. So, what are we looking at for news here on Bitcoin and Coffee? Well, I mean, as I went around, it looks like, I mean, a lot of this news of what's going on is pretty much on the Bitcoin gold still. Um, you know, there's some few articles here and there talking about, you know, the, what's happening over in Zimbabwe and how the price of Bitcoin is up to $10,000 over there due to the, you know, financial problems they're having and how people are, you know, sleeping in line for the bank to be able to get their money and all of that. Uh, I mean, that's an absolutely horrible situation. I mean, it's wonderful that Bitcoin's there to help them out. I wish there was a way that we could get them more Bitcoin and get it better on the, you know, the network for them so they can go ahead and start using it in an everyday situation and you know be done with this financial crisis that they're having but you know i'm sure that that's probably not going to happen i'm sure the people over there that are able to take advantage of bitcoin are you know the ones that are better off and not the common poor person in the street uh you know which is sad uh and also i mean when you turn back to this bitcoin news that's going on i mean what we got here is is that i mean we got bitrix saying that they're not gonna you know be trading it so i mean that kind of sucks uh you know for anybody that went and put their money in there because they were going to go ahead and split it and hope to get an early release on the exchange uh let me see we got uh well the bit or the snapshot happened at block 491407 uh it looks like we're seeing trading uh future tradings in the low 400s uh it looks like they're going to be running it you know it secretly in the background here for a little while until about november 1st as a pre-mine situation of the new bitcoin gold coin uh you know some people aren't feeling the greatest about that uh you know personally i mean you, the developers got to get paid somehow right so I mean, besides that, it looks like, I mean, you know, we're going to see Bitcoin moving forward into the future, seeing all new highs before you know it, uh, you know. Bitcoin has absolutely nowhere besides the moon to go. This was all expected to be happening with the fact that we've seen the price movement. And we're going to be seeing this again here as we move into November. And we're looking at the segregated witness 2x hard fork coming up. Uh, I'm sure the swing on that one will be much bigger uh, due to the fact that there's a lot more informational pull, a lot more push behind that one. Uh, you know, they, they're still backing it with the New York agreement saying that, you know, everybody signed up for this. Uh, you know, we're still seeing the pushback saying that because of Bitcoin Cash, there's no need for it. Uh, you 
you know, and I'm sure that this is going to be pushing Bitcoin a lot further in the swings. Bitcoin gold was kind of a joke and a little bit laughed at, um, you know, with the fact of their slow development, they're not big team, the lack of information and the lack of replay protection that's going on. So as always, if you like the information that's happening here on Bitcoin and coffee, if you like everything that's going on, if you like having a, a seat in my coffee table and, you know, having a cup of joe with me, Eugene Forrest. I need you to hit that subscribe button. I mean, the community's great here. We're sitting around. We're all talking about Bitcoin. We're trying to figure out what's the best thing to do to, you know, not put ourselves in those high risk, high reward situations, but still continue to grow our BTC safely as we move into the future, trying to create that generational wealth that's going to take care of us and our family so we can, you know, stop burdening ourselves with these horrible nine to fives that never seem to quite pay enough. Uh, as I'm getting ready to go off to work this morning, I want you guys all to have a great day. I want you guys to go check out those tools I got listed down there below to help you guys navigate the cryptocurrency markets. Uh, you know, all sorts of links down there to help you guys figure out what's going on in the Bitcoin network, the Litecoin network, the Ethereum network, help you get the hardware wallets, help you collect some of those free cryptocurrencies, help you get those airdrops. And as always, donational addresses are listed down there below because I'm doing this totally unfunded. Just because you guys are that great. Now remember, keep your BTC safe.